Alrighty, welcome to episode two, you guys. We are going to be talking about a few things in this episode, um, specifically hard drives, uh, saving music, setting up your files. So everything is all set up to go. I see a lot of Rekordbox users, they don't have their drives correctly set up or everything's on their home computer, which is fine uh, until your computer, either you need to do a restart or a crash, then usually relinking with Rekordbox is a pain in the neck. How do I know? Um, I've done it before and it's terrible and this is why I do it this way. So let's get into this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about options uh, for record box backups. Uh, what I would recommend is something similar to this. Uh, I'll post all these in the description, but this is basically an SSD. It's a one terabyte. That's really all you need. You don't need anything crazy, but I would get a faster one um, if you're on Mac, USB-C or USB works. Uh, but for this video purpose, I'm going to be using an older one. It's a one terabyte, just a backup drive that I'm going to dedicate solely to having on my record box. We're going to be reformatting this SSD, which uh, I, have a, I have the same one plugged in, which you can see PC backup. I use this for a PC software. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reformatting this. So what you need to do is you need to go into your uh, applications folder and you're probably going to have a lot less applications than I do, uh, since this is my ba my overall system. Uh, applications, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the, uh, on your Mac, it's going to say utility. So you're going to open that up and you're going to go to disk manager or disk utility. So in your disk utility, this is what it's going to allow you to do formatted, depending on how your drive is formatted uh, when you buy it. Nor uh, There's three different types of file systems, but really all you need to know for this is we're going to be changing it to the one that works with Mac and PC. So right now, this drive is built for uh, PC only. Uh, I don't need this backup anymore since it was a spare. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure you're not on your main hard drive. And then if you have any other disks installed or any other drives installed, remove those just so you don't accidentally make the mistake of clearing it. So you're going to go to uh, PC backup here which is what we're gonna be formatting. So you can either restore or you can erase. So we're gonna erase it. Um, and we'll name it record box masterclass. Oop, we'll just name it record box, record box one. So here's where you get to pick your file system. So uh, Mac OS, uh, this is, so this is uh, specifically for the Mac file system. The NTFS, that is specifically for PC. So we're going to choose one of these middle ones, which is going to be, we're going to choose the, we'll choose the XFAT option. And then we erase. So it's going to take a second here to erase. And it will pop up right here, which is the new drive, which we just installed. So I want to show this just because I've had this issue before in the past. So you'll see how it, has the never ending spinning loading disks option. So what we're gonna do to reset this is we're gonna reset the computer. I know it's a very basic IT technique of just reset your computer, but honestly it works with disk utility. So when you are either trying to do XFAT or whatever you're formatting, if it gets to this screen, you obviously have your Mac iOS or your, your Mac operating system right here. And then you have your secondary disk, which should be right here where my cursor is. Um, we're just gonna reset the machine and I'll meet you back in a second. So just like that, a restart worked. Um, sometimes it doesn't. So if you know you're only gonna be using Mac, what you can do is you can erase it and you can use it on uh, Mac OS Extended Journaled. Uh, but there's also a trick later on where if you format it to XFAT, you can use it as an external hard drive. Uh, for your, when you're DJing, if you want to plug it in, but I would not recommend that just due to the fact that the more plug and play, the more plug and play, uh, the more chance you have it corrupting. So I would just leave it on this. So we're all set to go. So if you're at this step, um, you're good. If not, uh, try reformatting again. And it's really what your system will take, but this is just how I set it up uh, so it can get optimal performance. So now that we're done with our hard drive, um, I'm gonna talk about flash drives later. That's a whole different topic. But we're, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be reopening up your record box. 
and I'm going to be going over a few basic things on how to actually set up your hard drive with your record box, record box library, going over a few uh, initial setup settings. So this is what you should see or a very similar what you should see when you load up your record box. So a whole bunch of um, little noises and stuff that comes pre-installed. So that's your collection at the moment. We don't actually need those uh, to make it less confusing. Uh, hit Command A or Control A to delete and then clear them all. So remove them. Yes, you want to clear them from your collection. So they're all gone. So you have no, you have nothing in your collection and you're just at the basic menu. Uh, yours probably looks like this with performance mode enabled. Um, all you need to do is switch it over to export mode. And this is the mode we're going to be in for the majority of the class. So you have this done now. And you see that your record box uh, unsupported file system, so use a USB. Uh, so this doesn't matter because it's devices. Uh, so what you can do is you can just close out of that. This is a flash drive um, almost warning for you, so you don't need to worry about that. What you do is you go into settings here, go to advanced, and then see where it says imported library. This is where you're going to want to make a new library and or move your database. So you have your database backed up on your actual hard drive. So you're going to go down to this option here called move database. Select a drive as a new location. Volumes record box one, so the one we just created, and hit OK. May require a long time. It's not going to because we don't have anything on it. Moving database. Done. So the imported library, oh, there we go. Okay, so now that your drive, it's showing that your drive is in record box one. So if we go back to our drive by closing out of record box, um, give it a second here. It's just being a little bit, a little bit laggy. We'll just do this. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look in the hard drive now. So we formatted it, we cleared it, and now you have the Pioneer contents, which is what you want to see. So this has your master database and everything that you need. So let's create a new folder called Music. This is going to be where you store your music. So a couple things about the file formatting with Music is if you have it all in one folder, Recordbox makes it so you can link it. So your organization between artists, genres, and everything is all going to be done in Recordbox. It's not going to be done in this folder. This folder is just where you put your music to give it a location. So now that you know that, that your database is in the correct spot on your hard drive, which you have, this works the same way as if you choose not to use a hard drive and keep it on your desktop. Your master database is going to be stored on your computer, though. Essentially, you have your record box layout here. So this is what you're going to see when you mainly open record box. Um, the next thing we're going to be working on is getting uh, music. So I've, I'm going to provide a free downloads list of music to you. It's I update it on Spotify all the time, but it's basically just tunes that I'll use in my collection or tunes that the artists have provided a free download. So it's it's not me providing you the actual file, but it's you supporting the artist in terms of going and grabbing their free download, which will give them a follow, but is in, in theory a free track that we can use. And it also puts a lot of new artists on. So that's why I'm doing it that way, just so multiple people can benefit off this course. So just to, to recap what we did, um, your main record box library is stored here. So if we switch it over to the main hard drive, which we'll do right now, um, it's going to say there's no main hard drive database, which there isn't because we cleared the tracks. And then we can switch it back to the record box database, which is the one that's going to be reading off the actual hard drive itself. And you'll realize why that's important later.